Hello guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And you'll have probably seen already uh, the confirmation of Valley and Ishmael's departure to West Brom has finally been uh, announced. I think it's been obvious all week towards back end of last week that, um, you know, he was going and everything. We've just waited and waited until we got you know, it, it's solid proof that he has gone. And from the football club, Barnes of Football Club itself, it has been uh, confirmed. Anyway, joining me to talk about it is Luke and Craig. Uh, Craig messaged me early on in the week saying when he goes, he wanted to be speaking about him. And then obviously Luke as well uh, messaged me, wanted to speak about it. Absolutely fine. Uh, lads, how are you going? Uh, we, I mean, we had spoke properly, really, on, on, a, on a video since um, Swansea, really, were it? Um, obviously, that's been and gone now. But, um, you know, this way... Ishmael's come uh, has it come out at blue for you Luke or did no, you expect no. no did you expect it to be that's um, that's why they were back in my head thinking if we don't go up uh, mm. we're a victim of his own success aren't we again you know yeah. um, it happened with Brentford a few years back I think they lost uh, I think it were a few players Ben Rama and a couple of other players and obviously mm. we was with manager we didn't get up in playoffs and it's happened to us um, yeah. with manager um, and I'm not surprised you know, West Brom, are, you know, if you look at the facts, they're a team that will have a lot more money behind them. You know, it's a four-year contract. He's going to be in a lot more money than he's on currently with us. Mm. I don't know whether he'll have as... I don't know the, you know, it's probably for West Brom fans to tell me, is he being appointed as a manager, as a head coach in terms of transfers, like the, the doings, will he have more influence there? And it's, a, you know, it's a chance for him to coach in the Premier League. They'll be looking at automatic. Um, I'm not surprised. I, I'm not... I'm not. I'm not like disappointed at Ishmael for leaving. It's the structure that you know. It's something that I keep. I've spoke about for a long time. I don't like. In one way, the release clause is there to bring these foreign managers in, but then again, it's this thing that we use as a stepping stone again, and I don't like that because I feel that we're always shortchanged as as fans, and also I feel that like we're we're back at square one. Mm. But it, it's one of those things. Look, it, you know, it's going to happen with some of our players as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, Mowat, mm. I reckon it, it won't surprise me if he ends up there um, in the next few weeks due to wages again. And, you know, they're, they're a big team. They're going to be one of the favourites to go up this season. So mm. it's one of those things. It's unfortunate, but uh, I like Ishmael, but I'm not surprised whatsoever. Um, if you look at his track record where he's been before, he's not been at clubs for very long. I would have liked to have seen him maybe give it one more full season, retain the players that we've currently got, bring in three or four players and then go again. And then, you know, if it's not working or if we didn't go up that, you know what I mean? So that's the only thing that I've got a little grumble about because I like to well, I think see managers look, see it through. And, and that look as well. But I think, you know, I suppose we all, well, I, I always go sentimental. But the sentimental value aspect of it is that he's not been here and seen any of the fans really <laughs> apart from that playoff game. Yeah, but so, it's, it's but football's again, a business look yeah, end of yeah, day, yeah. you know. That's what I mean. It's um, it's he sent he sent a nice message out. You know, is a decent? You know, he's a nice guy. I I like the way that he coached the man manager side of things, the, the the style of play. I've said before, I like to see football being played on the floor. However, mm. at that same time, if we, we play football on the floor previously under Stendhal in the Championship, and we lost nearly every week, so you know those results were due to the fact that we were quite pragmatic. We we had a good structure. We were hard to beat. His fitness were unbelievable. Um, so they are all the good things. And, and you know, I, I hope he does well at West Brom. Except when he plays us, the it's going to be difficult for him. It's a different type of pressure now. He's going to expect it to be win every game. You know, with the players that he's going to be we'll playing say, with. He's, he's, got, a he's got to hit ground running because if he doesn't, yeah, so you know, not if, last if, long. If, they're, if they're mid table, if they're mid table by Christmas, he's gone. It's, you know, so the pressure's there. Grass isn't always greener. We've said that about players. You know, Stroop was not having a great time at New York. But it, it's so it, you know it's same for managers as well that, that's come and gone. But it is, it is where it is, Luke. Mm. Like I've said for a long time, I, I want us to start to change mentality. The only thing that I hope is where we finished last season might do as a good thing. We'll be more attractive to other managers now. We where we finished in the league, where it could be a good project to work with. I'm sure we'll talk about. Oh, we want to come in or like ideas. Well, but that's the only positive for me is that we could possibly bring in a manager that we'll see how. You know, something for the long term, I would like to see something that can build something around and also at the same time, something that's not going to, you know, that we can be seen as an attractive club to play, to, mm. to be a manager in four, rather than just seen as a, well, I'll stay with them for a year and then I'll go when, mm. you know, when best offer comes in. But, mm. you know, that's not Ishmael's fault. That's the release clause that, that the board have put in place. So he can't, you know, West Brom's activated that. Um, so it's not, you know, Ishmael obviously has seen the club 
West Brom and seen the interest and thought, well, you know, you only you only get one career. Um, but it'll be interesting to see over the next few weeks whether that unsettled the players that's played under him. Um, mm. That's again it's something I worry about is when managers go, does it unsettle the players? Do they think, oh well, you know, again it's going to be a new manager, new players, new ideas. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's never dull at all, well, but I'm not. Dis- I am disappointed a little bit, but at the same time, I'm not surprised either. Mm. Craig, uh, bringing you in then, do you echo all out there? Uh, obviously not disappointed and not surprised. Uh, sorry, disappointed and, and surprised. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's an awkward one, isn't it? Because obviously we weren't there. For me, for me, I'd, 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 I didn't feel as strongly with Ishmael as I did maybe Strew, but maybe that's just because we weren't there. I don't know if... That, if can I use that in it? Can I use that in this, this debate? Like, I weren't there, so I didn't really feel... I've said it before, and I said it in a, a, a video I did last week, you know... It's it's been it, for me. It's always been hard to get up for these games because we've not been there all the time. So yeah, we're losing that stability, which is the main key. What's Luke saying? What's your feelings on it? Um, I'm I'm disappointed. I'm not surprised. Mm. Um, it was out to be either Palace, yeah, or then it was West Brom, and then it was somebody else. He's been linked to about four different teams. Um. What's 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 annoying me is um, they keep putting these uh, clauses in contracts. Mm. Now I don't know whether it's managers that are saying I want this to be in here, or whether it's club that's saying right if somebody's going to go then we're going to get some coin for it. Like, but I'm, I'm gutted, mate. To be honest, it, it's not so much losing him that I'm gutted with that. It's, it's the timing of it again. Yeah, yeah. timing. Six timing. Weeks the start of the season. Mm. It's not just that, mate. But we've. But, We've got like five strikers now. Next coach that comes in needs to play a similar formation. Mm. He's, he's we let some inundated with strikers, we're inundated with centre backs. You know, we 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 scarce in midfield. We've got no wingers to speak of except Luke Thomas who's coming back, and maybe Chaplin can play out there. It's it's just really limiting us to what we can do next, and and <laughs> we 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 next obviously with next appointment. Because like we went, we went from uh, Stendhal, which were playing four three three wide, and then we went to Struble, but that we were four three two, and then we've gone to a now nah, a four. Uh, I mean a, a five three two, and then we've gone to Valerian, who's played a five two three. Mm. So yeah, again, it's going to leave us short in in one aspect, in one area. As well, it's we know it's going to take a month for them to to pick somebody. Um, I tweeted that about two or three weeks we should already be looking mm. because I, I, knew, I knew we were going to go mm. um, well I think we knew from last week really it's and, and, like and, we're being picked apart again because we've lost the CEO we've lost as manager we're going to lose as captain has it been so confirmed yet about Dane though I know I know it's probably we're waiting for contract we're contracts running out next week we're, we're, we're yeah, waiting he, yeah he, he, he's gone mate like I say we, we, we can't we 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 butter everybody's. Um, like I said, we keep making these people, making managers, making players, and they just keep pissing off. It's mm. it's, it's so annoying. I think we're allowed Obviously, to be annoyed. Obviously, yeah. understand that's how we need to run and everything, and I understand business side and everything. <laughs> but it just seems like I mean, if you look at Stendhal, mm. grass is greener, goes away. Six months is in job centre. Mm. You know what I mean? So same with Ekin Bottom. Six months down mm. line is in job centre. Now, now, is this going to happen to Val? Is he going to be? Is he not going to be able to pull up any trees at West Brom? Well, he's going to have to. Do you, do you uh, think? Well, do, you, do you think Craig? It's brave of them to give him a four-year contract. Yeah, it's very brave yeah. of them, isn't it? And they're showing but, a but lot remit of loyalty. Is, remit for them will be yeah. automatic. Yeah, no ifs or buts. Yeah, they're, they're they're going to want to go straight back up, and I think if they're going to play this style of football, I think it suits them well. I think they, I think is a, is a great appointment for them. I think their mm. squad's going to be. Bigger. He's going to thrive under the under the way Valerian plays. I think the big strong um, players like um, oh, what's that Welsh guy's name? Robson Carno. Robson he's going Carno. to love it. Yeah, he's going to absolutely Live love this style of play. It's it's, it's got him written all over it. So I, th- I think they'll I think they'll do well. Like Carl Bartley will love it. Um, but for us, but for us again, it's we're losing three big figureheads mm. in one season, and we've got six weeks again. to go. Mm. I'm not expecting. You, you, you asked before you start recording, but are we excited for the season? Not really, no. Because, like I said, we're leaving it last minute again to get replacements in, get yeah. signings in. 
These signings that come in now, they're not going to be mm. what the manager wants. They're going to be what the owners want. And well, yet, the van, and yet the van again, we're asking the manager that, to come it? in. Well, yeah, we're asking the manager to come in and say, right, here's a bunch of players, make them play. Mm. You know what I mean? Not not getting the manager in and saying, right, who do you need to play your system? Well, this is what we're saying. And We've then, said it for years on here, though, haven't we? We want a manager. We don't. We want a manager who goes out and signs players. Yeah. We don't want... Like Steve's always said, we don't we don't want to be doing this data analysis stuff that we that we keep going on about. Whether it works or not, for me that's not football. For me, it's going out and scouting a footballer. You scout. Well, I got rid of all scouts last season. They sacked them all. Well, when COVID. Yeah, they furloughed they, them all and told them that you don't. We don't. They got rid of scouts last season. Yeah. That's well documented. But people don't like talking yeah, about the, that because data it's, analysis is just another another way of scouting. Though it yeah. is, it's just by numbers though, and they're exact. They're not. It just takes the personal aspect out of it. That's mm. all it does. Well, I mean, the thing I'm old, then again, I'm Craig, be old school though, then Craig. I must be old school. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> move with times, man. Times move on. Nah, I don't it's agree. I'll well, move with times. I'll move with times when we stop buying players like fucking Marcel Ritzmeyer from a data spreadsheet and stuff like that. You know, that that spreadsheet yeah. for me, it, it works sometimes. Look at Britain, great signing, and then mm. but then we sell three, then we buy three players that don't work. You look at Ritzmeyer, Schmidt, and you know. There's I another one in there. Schmidt didn't work. I think I thought he played well when he came on and stuff. I thought I know, he did alright. You know, for me, he's, I, you've got, I don't know. For money we paid, for, for, for money we paid for him. Though, you know what I mean? You add up money we paid for Rich Meyer, Schmidt, Alm, for example. I know Alm's contributed and he has been involved a bit more, but he had been like a serious forty-six games a season player for us. Mm. You add that money up, you can get. You know what I mean? You can get away with a couple of a workhorses if you have three or four quality players. I've said it to Luke. I've said it to Luke loads of times. Just a couple of quality players. Like, you know what I mean? I'd have had Matty James back. He's gone to Bristol City. I'd have had him back. Jack, Jack Murray has gone to Peterborough. Really good player at this level. Good player. I would have you had know. him. You know? Yeah, but they've got... No, listen, though. This is what I'm saying. You, you two are always getting too personal. You need to think of it from the owner's perspective. They've got no resale value. You buy them, they're in the 30s well, it's nearly. Poor, it's poor then, they've Craig, got no isn't it? Value. Jack Murray, Jack Murray, it's in his 30s. I don't no, know. no, I said I said near the 30s. Has Schmidt got any, no, no, Schmidt got any sell on value, man? Schmidt, Schmidt, well, you're not getting out for Schmidt. Yeah, Schmidt got sell on value. But you'll not get, but yeah, but the, you, won't get back, you won't get back what we paid for him. I'm telling you that now. We paid off him. Yeah, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Right, he's gone to Estbog. Imagine him banging in a 20-goal season. He comes back to us. He might be a, he might be a completely different player like, well, like hope, Mo at one. Well, we hope so. To, we've got to hope. Oxford. Yeah, we've got to hope so. But what I've seen of him, there's no chance at this level. But he, yeah, well, we said that about bloody Mo, but look at him now. This is what I'm saying. No, I never we doubted. I, I never doubted. No, I never doubted. No, I never doubted Mo. Mo were a quality signing. He weren't fit when he came yeah, to us. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. The thing is, we young players, it's calculated risks. When are they going to hit the prime? Are they ever going to hit that that sort of level? But that's why they do these spreadsheets. And obviously, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I understand it. And I know it works because we've seen teams like Brentford do it. You know what oh, I mean? I've, yeah, I'm, I'm just, just saying. I know sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Do you know what I mean? I've said I said that. I said one, sometimes one it thing works, sometimes it doesn't. doesn't work that different wheels and Brentford is they will get maximum money for what the players are sold for and we undersell like fuck. We don't play hardball and this is the same again with this release clause. Two million. You yeah. know, yeah, we get we get two million, but you know, we 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 sell Pinnock for four million, three million. Look how much he's be worth now, fifteen. Not Premier League centre at half. Yeah, you look at, that's the difference between yeah, Brentford yeah, and yeah. Barnsley is that they sell they oversell. They say, right, if you want that play, you play hardball. We go. Well, think the thing is, the thing is, right, we do Brentford system, but we do it a bit tighter. Mm. We don't pay as much for our players as they do, mm. so they demand a higher fee when it comes to selling. That, that that's that that's the crux of it. We wait, like we wait, pay over two mil. They'll happily pay three, four mil, knowing that that player's going to come good. Yeah. So we, we there's, that there's peaks and troughs yeah. of everything. Like I'm not totally against it. I just see all the examples of it. Like I just, especially as well with like the Devante Cole signing. Not a bad signing for me, but it, again, it's like I want an head coach to be. I know probably he's not. I I want an head coach to be collaborating with the board and be you know fifty fifty. I, I think he was. 
I think he was. In that signing, I think he was. You you look at what type of strikers Big Val likes. He yeah. likes tall, pacey strikers and good with, with ball at the feet. And Devante is yeah. exactly that. Mm. So I think he was. I think he were, he were a big... But that's what I mean. Where does it leave him now? Yeah, exactly. You've got five just, just coming, yeah. What, what, if, what if the manager comes in that only wants to play one striker? Mm. It just means we're going to have to shift players out. What if we're going to play four in defence instead of five? Mm. Then we're going to have two or three centre-backs not playing. You know what I mean? I'm sick of this chip-chopping between formations. It's all short-term. It's like, it's like putting plasters over wounds all the time. That's the way I see yeah, it. It's just yeah. all short-term. And you, you know, to have, you know, you need to have long term stability to create a successful project, which is what they've stated. But for me, chopping and changing a manager every nine, ten months, mm. I, I, I don't think you know. You don't see big, big companies doing that. They, they make money. You know, you don't see that happen. I know it's different with football, but it's a business as well. But I just don't think it because there's all. It's a gamble with every manager. But the way I see it is, you need long term stability behind the scenes. And again, with Murphy going. You know, we, that's another area. He had a massive say in the, in the transfers. So, again, who was going to take that over? It, there's, there's a lot of questions to be asked. I and also... That, 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 he, he was their man on ground, wasn't he? He was the guy that went out and looked for yeah, these managers. Yeah. Look for these players. Who's going to do that now? We've got an object to do it. Conway so, will do get it. Get back. Conway will do it. Well, yeah, 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 Ben Mansford, get him back. <laughs> Gordon Shepherd. <laughs> Conway's on way to Alex Max now back. dropping that two million deposit off in bank, mate. <laughs> no, well, listen, I, I mean it's it's gutting, isn't it? I mean, obviously we've debated obviously yeah. art club runs and stuff, and it is gutting for that stability aspect alone for me because I'd have liked yeah. to have seen him have a full season and judged yeah, him. Yeah, that's where that's why I'm disappointed yeah. about Be- with, with players, season. retain players, and I, I reckon if he'd have stayed, Mo would stay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they had, they had a really good relationship. And I think Mowat, I think personally, they'll put in a bit, they'll, you know, Mowat might go to West Brom and look at wages and do similar to what Davis and Yadam have done, let the contracts mm-hmm. run out and just say, I'm going for better wages elsewhere, lads. Think, think, think with Mowat. Yeah, there's no well. way we're keeping Mowat now. Well, think no with, I mean, at the end of the no, day, he's no been a good servant. Him, but I think we can agree with Mowat, though. He's been a good servant for us. He's been here since 20. Yeah, you know, listen, mate, so, he's been really loyal to us. He could have fucked so, off. So, yeah. yeah. He could have fucked off, you know, plenty of seasons yeah, back. Yeah. And he did, like Woodrow. And so, yeah. listen, I've got no no bad about Mo. This should have been sorted out in January, in my opinion. Mm. This contract well, should have been sorted out well, with six months left. You don't let don't let it run down. Me, but I think he was just. I think he just knew. I think he just yeah. knew that we won't be able to. We won't be able to pay what he wants. Do you think he would have similar to DK? Anyway. Mm. Ah. Similar to DK, where if, if we went if we got up, DK to join the same with Mowat. It'd, it'd have re-signed if we'd have gone up. Oh, it'd have re-signed like that if we'd have gone up, yeah. yeah. And so would Ishmael. It, Ishmael would have still been here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. It is what it is, Lou. You know, that's why we always said it was so important to take the, to make most of it because we, we knew what would happen if we didn't mm. and this is the uh, the effects of it. We, we yeah. kept saying it and people well, were like, oh, we'll be fine. That's there. It might, it might come in for more than Moa. That, that's it. It might come Elick. in for more than Moa. Elick. He might come in for Styles. Elick. Styles. Yeah, listen, people can sit and they might say, oh, you, you slag, it's been, it, it, we've been realistic. If I'm it's a manager, it's, it's, happened, it's, you know, it's been happening since players, the 70s. Team that's, teams that season players in our squad what, uh, that he'll probably know he can get for twice as cheap as if uh, other championship centre halves. Why would he not? Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's and, and I know people go, it's, it's, it's because it. Listen, I didn't like the way that Crane did things with, with selling. You know what I mean? It's not just this. It's not just this regime. I've never been a fan of it. I've never been a fan of all selling players and then also undercutting themselves. Um, it's been it's a different. It's, it's been happening for, for for fucking forty years. This, mm. you know, even longer than that. Um, it's the way that it goes as a Barnsley fan. It's it's cutting though at time again. You know, fixtures have come out. I'm not bothered about fixtures. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like well, like it Craig is. has said. We, I still feel we need we need to we for me we need four areas to recruit in, mm. and then you, you you've got a manager now and a chief exec to be looking at. There's a lot of stuff to be sorted out. See, I don't want it to, but it is well, reminding like say, me. It's going to take them a month to get a new manager in, mm. and then we're two weeks away from the season starting, it, and there's no chance yeah. to go out then. See, it's you reminding. I mean? it's, it, it's going to take at least a month for players to get used to a new manager and it, what he wants to do. It's reminding yeah. me. Like that, we could already be on a bad run. It's reminded me so, a little. It's reminded me a little bit of that 2017-18 Eki Marais season. We yeah. were all rushed into into season, and we just never got going, did we? Really, we never got going, and uh, 
you know, maybe that with McBurney and everything at the beginning and, and stuff like that. Well, it listen, needs, it needs they, to be sorted. You know, Where do you go, though, Luke? Where do we go in terms of a manager this time? Because well, it's man- going to be hard because people have forgot about the uh, the golden word of Brexit. We, uh, it's going to be difficult. That, you know, rules have changed regarding people coming over to work. Yeah, Steve, so there will said, be... Steve said something to me about that. Stumbling blocks regarding that has changed since January. We obviously got Ishmael before that. So they might be looking more domestic. I mean, I hope, personally, I hope they do. Yeah, um, I think but, it's time but to then look again, But then again, look, but then the note the, against the, these the managers Stru- that have come in. But then look at Struber. Mm. His, his remit was to keep us up. He did that. Ishmael overachieved, did great, you know, got us to playoffs. So last two appointments, you've got to say, in, on paper, yeah. and also results-wise, they've done the job. So Kendall before that as well, so it's last three. Yeah, yeah, got us automatically great. straight away. So, you know, <laughs> again... It, but, but then I always think uh, Mr. Mr. Cocktail, Mr. Cocktail Man. So Sausage rolls. I always think, yeah. So it, it, but it's worked and it's not. It's, but then again, it's the same with every manager. Look, I like domestic. I'm old school. I want to go for somebody mm. like Chris Wilder personally. Well, I think it's, it's. I think it's just oh, time yeah. to. I just oh, think yeah. it's time to go domestic. Look, I think we've. I'm, I'm, and that's not saying other other others have not work because we know yeah. that they have. Like you've just said, Stendhal worked. Ishmael, um, sorry, Struber kept us up. And, and Ishmael, like we said, overachieved and he's got his centre move to West Brom. You know what I mean? But like, I want to see, there's, there's a, the thing is, there's some good young domestic managers out there that are available yeah. that would come. I'm saying it. Gareth if, Ainsworth. If we got, Gareth right. Ainsworth. I would go for Gareth Ainsworth. I'm saying it now. He'll come from Wickham. Craig, you're all right shaking your head. Go back to 2018. You wanted him. There's a video of you saying Gareth Ainsworth. Yeah. He'd do a job here. I did. And then I saw him in championship and he... he he did. He did. He did. Listen, he really why, up. Why, why? Why do we need to keep going at, going at dregs and our chuffing football league to get fucking managers? We should be looking at Wilder. That's what we should be looking yeah. at. Yeah, that's yeah. my that's number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should. We should. We should. But in keep what he wants. Yeah. Keep assurance he wants. We should. We should. I agree. I agree. We should have Wilder, Craig. I'm. I'm being a bit more, a bit more realistic because I don't think yeah. he'll come. He turned West Brom down, so I don't well, think Wilder thing- will come. The reason is, the reason I don't think he'll come as well is he, he left Chef View, one of the reasons why, because he wanted a full say on transfers. Mm. And uh, they didn't, they didn't that want that. Uh, no, he won't. So I reckon as well, I you know, the, the pluses are he's local. He's got experience in this league. He's done great in this league. I reckon I love his style of play. Mm. I think that suits, again, the fitness side of things. I think it suits us. Mm. Um, and also he's an attractive a brand of football and he's a good man manager. And um, I reckon... Why not ask him? Even, even if he says no, let's be asking, you know, again, this is about mentality at club. I don't think Where do we, see, anyway. do we see ourselves now? Do we see ourselves as a, as a team that can be year in, year out, a playoff sustaining team? Or do we want to just be just make it numbers up? I don't want us to be making numbers up. I want us to build on that season and not it just be a freak season. So let's be going for it like Sir Wilder. Mm. Eddie well, this out. is what we've been asking, though, isn't it, lads? I think one of the top English managers. This is what we've been asking, though, lads. fantastic. We've been asking this, haven't we? When season ended, we were saying, we, big question is, where's club going in terms of, are we going to go back to usual or are we going to build on what we've done? And at the minute, it looks as though... We're going to do the same as what we did last year, mate. We're going to we're gonna, gonna go to Continent. We're going to grab some manager that's done all right for six months somewhere. No, uh, probably the Wolf. Probably Hans Wolf. Somebody that's going to be young players before. We've been tracking him for that's 15 years. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be a shit season next season because it's going to take too long to bed in, too long to get players used to the new regime, and then they're going to have a great end of the year where they win like, I don't know, 10 out of the last 15, and they get fucking picked up and all, and then... They might get it's just, going to, it's, it's just a revolving door that is all well. Mate, that's, again, I just, I, I just want to see you, right, mate, <laughs> give the next guy a contract Right, we are to release clause in it. Mm. Sign him down for four years, no release clause. And put and him in a dungeon where somebody. it's padlocked. Yeah. Keep somebody here. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if you think you've got the next big manager, yeah. tie that fucker down mm. and don't let him go anywhere. Yeah, it's a good well, point, look at, Craig. Look at Norwich with Farker. Yeah, and, I think uh, Rick, it's Bentham a very good point. Frank. I, I I get you. No, it's a good point, Greg's making it. Because if they if they believed obviously that he could have achieved that, did what we did last season, then why on earth has he got only two million? I don't think I don't think that, I don't think the new I reckon no, he's overachieved. Fucking yeah. hell, gonna write Crestor away here. 
You yeah. know, I, I don't think, I don't think at all. I think the, the 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 pick the managers the 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 they've got into the thread that the style of football they want is this gig and press style, just complete pressing, which is what Stendhal's done, Struber's done, and Big Val's done, right? And the rest is data sheets on seeing how 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 hard the team works, uh, average age at club that the the players that they've been using. Um, and um, and the, well, I don't know all rest, but they'll, they'll Conte be a few is free. More. But if the really Conte man, I think he's best manager. <laughs> well, I think. Is, is, I is think continental? He's I think he's better than Pep, me mate. Conte, <laughs> I love him. That's it. Like you said, Luke, of, uh, last week, Lampard. He's another. Listen, I, I know people might laugh at that, but I will tell you why. These are some reasons why I would say well, he's just as hard to get as 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 Wilder. So <laughs> not gonna. But this 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 is the reason why you gotta go for. I'm not even saying for him exactly, but this sort of manager. Yeah, he's good with young players. He's got a good influencing. He's obviously a, a, as a player done fantastic things. He's got great contacts in the game. He's really good with young players. Look at what he did at Chelsea that first season and at Derby. Yeah, you know his his champ his managing championship. It, you know, he's out at spotlight. He can regroup again and come back, you know. But but it's about, for me, it's about a free, you know, not a short-term, let's put some temporary wallpaper over. I want proper living room decorated. I don't want a <laughs> yeah. bit of... Yeah. I don't want some, I don't want a little sheet for an over, over thing. I want I want full living room decorated and house. It. Yeah. You know, so it's got to start. You've got to lay foundations in. You've got to be saying... Skirting board painting. Exactly. <laughs> Look at you know I know I know I know I know that analogy is that but what I'm saying is you've got to put the foundations and you can't expect long term success. We appointed a manager for nine months, doing all right, then he fucks mm. off, then get somebody else, yeah. and then he fucks off. Yeah, it's you got know, to be. It's just, got... just to clarify though, I wasn't laughing at Lampard as a manager. I was laughing at the fact that I don't know. We've still got this vain hope that we're going to have um, a domestic manager. And I just don't think it's going to happen. Greg, it's because, it's, Greg, how long... long I, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's, it's, so like, it, we're not going to get something... It, I know, I know, but every single time a manager's gone and we're talking about management, we can't talk about anybody yeah. from Continental because we've never we heard don't of fucking them. Know them. We don't know who they yeah, are. I, guess, so, I just didn't want somebody for any comments. Oh, look at Greg laughing at Lampard yeah. if he's not done all to his career. No, 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 no I another one. That. An- another I one I'd go for, Darren, Darren Moore at Wednesday. Darren, uh, um, yeah, well, well, listen, I mean, it's, it's, no, it's no, no, down at Hillsborough, no, isn't I, it? I, yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't even know. Is he getting paid? Because I know what players aren't. But players aren't. Yeah. You know, do you want to be on a bad shit? I told you it's a poison chalice Wednesday job, and no matter how many Wednesday fans said that it's not, you know, it's similar to Sunderland, in my yeah. opinion. Mm. Um, behind the scenes, pressure's on on and off the field. There's a lot of, for me, Moore did a decent job at Wednesday. In short yeah, time, he did well, a great yeah. job at Donny. Yeah, he'd be better. I mean, yeah, we're not like, love for him going we, there. We could have chance here as owner, though, could we? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we bash our owners sometimes if they do stuff wrong and that, but we could have fucking chance here. Mm. They've learned the you know lessons, I mean? Craig, in some areas, but I still think in some areas we're very naive. We're too nice at yeah. times. Um, You've got to then... understand, though, they're, they're new to this football thing. Yeah. I mean, I've only owned a club for like, what, Nice, the, 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 the market like four or five years ago. So they're not exactly, the new, the, well, they should, the, they should be finding their feet now. And I think every year, I think we do see um, learning stuff because yeah. there's certain things that have happened that, like, they've got a CEO in because they know they could run it full time. So mm. that took a yeah. couple of years for them to learn that they couldn't micromanage from the villas in Spain or wherever they've got homes. Mm. So, yeah, well, I, like I say, it's, it's a process, and I'm just gutted with time in the game, mate. It's like mm. we're going to have to it's six weeks, mate. I, I just don't like it. I think we should have seen this company, we should have already had somebody lined up. No, I mean, we might, we might. You know I, mean? I tweeted a fucking month ago saying we've got to, we should start. Well, I, now. you know, I reckon behind the scenes, they'll have had rustlings from a few weeks back. So, who, who would you like that? I mean, who would you like me, Wilder? Wild, Wilder, I, we, I think we're all agreeing on Wilder, but obviously Wilder, it's a pipe it's dream. Style of play. It's a what pipe dream, though, isn't it? It's a pipe oh, dream. Fuck, it, fuck if he's a Sheffield fan. I wouldn't give a flying fuck if, oh, it, no, if he's I a... I don't. I'd have Warner. You know what I mean? I... I'd have Warner. You know what I mean? Ian Holloway. I'd have Ian I'd have Holloway. <laughs> I know he's dropped out pecking order. Eddie Howe. Said... Eddie Howe. No, not... no, we said Eddie Howe yeah. last, last year before Ishmael. Do you remember? We said Eddie Howe. <laughs> 
Oh, in it gonna say? Wild is my number one, but I think we'll go for somebody, somebody well, with a oh, yeah, long yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> somebody with a long name. Somebody with Van, Van after the first name. Yeah. Somebody with, and Van Ayer. We'll go for somebody like that. Somebody, somebody with like... a trans, somebody with a transit in front of the name after the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, in all seriousness, I'm good to. I'm yeah. disappointed. But I'm more. I'm got more disappointed for the club because it feels like again we're back at square one. Mm. That's what it feels like every season. Yeah. We we did ever so well last season. I just felt this is just time just to just keep it together, retain your players, go again, get another three or four, and then we go on again and go, you know, mm. and see where it takes us. And then, like you said, Luke, if if that full season didn't work out, it didn't work out. But it, but it's one of those things we're victims of his own success. Yeah. And until yeah. the mentality yeah. of the club, we need to stop being a stepping stone. I want us to be a bit more like a bit more. If you want him. Get rid of those release clauses now because we know that. Well, like, have they have they agreed to pay it full thing then? Because they wanted yeah, the full one. Yeah, yeah. they, yeah. they were they were they were trying it on, weren't they? They were saying, oh, yeah, they were trying to pay it in installments. Yeah, <laughs> <sod off. laughs> it? yeah that, we still want that last million pound back for fucking Angus McDonald. So mm. two million pound for uh, for Ishmael a bit, you know. But I think we've we've got to get rid of these release clauses, and we're going to start offering managers saying, listen. To, you know this one season thing you stay you know two or three you know two or three seasons at least mm. if it's obviously if it's working um, for me well, because I mean, then you because players it's difficult for players to keep coming getting different getting to know manager then they fuck off and then a new manager comes in and then they go yeah and sorry for swearing Liz as well you know before uh, I get comments in thing I, I do swear passionate to, but, they, but there we are you're allowed to leave. Um, I'm just sick. I'm just sick at rug being pulled from under us every time we, yeah. we, we do all right. You know what I mean? And I don't know it's it's a little old bars I think it's and it's getting a bit old. It's getting a bit old real fast. Yeah, it's, but it's we are progressing as a team. Mm. Over over the past few seasons, we are progressing every season. But it's just how long how long can we keep getting lucky with managerial appointments and likes because, of Helic and Anderson coming in? Mm. I mean because yeah. When's that season going to come when we get Marais back and we get Chuffin four or five signings that are complete enough to should? You mm. know what I mean? So mm. Yeah. I I, I agree. I think I think I think what we've got to be we've got to be realistic and uh, we've got to be realistic in, in terms of the aspect of next season. I mean it is going to be avoiding relegation again. So I'm not looking at top 6 really. I, Obviously, I want us to be there. Leagues are leagues a lot stronger this season, in my opinion. Yeah, eleventh, twelfth, mate. I'm yeah, looking, that'll I'm not do, that'll do, six, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's where. Obviously, I, think, I, want I, think, to, I want us to be first and everything. But realistically, <laughs> I think you know, as that is our level, probably mid table, lower mid table. That's probably our yeah. level, and I think you know, if we can get a manager to to, to you know to do that to get us in that position, then it's a successful season for us. If, like if, Moet, said, if, Moet's, only, if Moet's only player to go, that'll be a good summer for us in terms of players going. Mm. But for yeah. me, we, we need to get rid of at least four or five at Deadwood because there are players that I just don't think are good enough for this level and we need four or five established or like, like a Britain ready to come in and hit the ground running. You know, mm. I want us to get Styles at midfield for next season. I want us to get Clark at all featured more in team. We need a left back to be pushing on that left hand side, um, a natural left back. Mm. For me, we still need a strike, and I still think I don't know so somebody like another. Right? Well, I, I don't. I don't. There's two or three of them. I don't rate personally yeah, I'm to this level. I'm, I'm, I don't think they're I'm good enough. Same as you. But I That's I, why I, I say we need another striker. So we need to get two or three out. I don't think we'll get championship players because. We won't pay the wages, and it's that simple. That's why, why when you say, "Oh, we need to get people that's uh, got experience in this league," we can't afford them because mm. we won't pay wages. Mm. And um, or even a loan. Let's look. Let's look at loan. Yeah, yeah, loans, loans, loan. mate, but the way they don't like doing them because they don't like. Well, look at DK. Um, DK nearly got us up on his own. We, you know, we help for everyone else, but that were a loan signing, Craig. You look at Matty James' influence that we had. That's two loans that we did. So that's. Surely yeah. an example yeah. of how, how it can work positively. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying. Owners might be learning now that maybe it's, it's a good idea, you know what I mean? And hopefully they are. Of course, of course loads of good ideas. Not, I think I'm it were an arrogant thing, case that, to say. That, 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 oh, yeah. were, that were being arrogant, that. Of course, loans, of course loans work. It's, 
it's obvious. It's worked. It's cost effective as well. Worked for years. Yeah, and years. Long, loans do work, um, but I, I don't understand where they're coming from. We're developing other. I, I get that. But Why? Well, yeah, but, yeah, but Greg, we're doing we're doing that with his own players. Listen, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm listening before you fucking jump down my throat. <laughs> Fuck me. Go on, Look, calm down, but calm I don't understand. I don't understand as a from a business point of view. You're bringing somebody in to improve them for another club. Yeah. I understand that. That's what I said. When I when I sent you that message, what did I say? I'm going to be devil's one? advocate. I'm not going to be well, that... a passionate fan. If I'm a passionate fan, I'll be saying get fucking ten in if it means we're going to get up. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm not. I'm I'm trying to be realistic yeah. and I'm trying to give all points of view. It's like I'm already coming on here just singing from the same industry as everybody else. You know what I mean? Not well, the old yeah. Way. Well, the way with loans, I see it is maybe go for a loan with a view to a permanent. No, yeah, yeah. That's sort, it. yeah, yeah, all sorts like, of loans. Like, yeah, that's the, the best loans you can get. Where you're like, all right, then if you reckon this kid's worth a million or something? Gear, gears him for twelve months. Mm. We'll put in contract. We'll pay one point two million at end on it. Mm. If it's, yeah. if we, that, that's way it should be. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, but like I said, Liverpool, Chelsea, all their youngsters. I mean, they've got a great conveyor belt. Them two mm. clubs. Well, uh, well, a good deal. So I don't see I don't see danger in taking somebody for twelve months mm. and putting a clause in there to buy them at end. Well, the only well, thing, the, the good thing is, I think we will we will attract players because where we finished, and the yeah. fact that we do give you we do give players a chance. Well, and, you know, we've, uh, that's we've, the only that's the only consolation for me is I think we will still attract players due to where where we finished, and also managers. The calibre well, of managers might be, you know, a better standard than usual the, due to where we finished as well. Zo- Zoom's about Zoom's about to finish, guys. So if you want, if you want to, if you want to, if you if you want to round it up, well, I'll uh, I'll end it and restart if you've still got time. Um, yeah, it's about to end, so we can do a quick fight, another five minutes in next one if you want. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've said we've got to say, haven't right. we? So right. well, I'll, it's about get to Wilder end. in. Get... <laughs> give, him, give him a greasy chip butty every yeah. day. Yeah. Just include that in contracts and he'll come. Yeah. So get Wilder in at Chip Butties on go Luke. Yeah, and then get get him with uh, get him get him in Conway to go to Hillsborough Casino. Uh for where that's where the Duke contract discussions. <laughs> uh I think I think we're on to a winner, lads. Conway, uh, yeah, get get um get him to take him for a pint in Howard. It'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Craig, Craig, final. Yeah, go on then. Your final word, Craig. No way. I just like I say. I, I, overall feelings are gutted. I'm not really optimistic at season ahead. I think it's gonna be an hard slog. I think we're gonna end up getting a continental manager. I think we're gonna have to. Whoever comes in is gonna have to try and work with players we've got because he's not gonna get a say in who players are. Because I don't think he's gonna have time to get anybody in before the start of the season. So. Really, it's got really. I'm not looking forward to start of season, mate. Really, yeah. Do you know, another two quickly before I have another two options Alex Neal, yes. uh, Jonathan Woodgate, good, if he leaves Bournemouth. He has, has he? Has he, has, has he left Bournemouth? No, there is. No. I think there's some part Scott Parker's going, but that mm. sort of you know, that sort of manager again, the young manager, like yeah. if it's not going to be somebody with a long name from Austria. You know, those, those sorts of managers that have worked at this level that, you know, that will want to come. Alex Neal's a good shout. Mm. Yeah. Does it, like I said, that's that's what I was saying. There's a lot of good domestic managers available. Yeah. Before yeah. you actually think not, about, uh, like, we, we know, we know. If they say no, yeah, if they say no, then try. fair enough. But yeah. just, just at least ask them. Mm. So at yeah. least consider him. That's all I'm wanting and that's this not, time. And that, yeah, and that's not saying the going out, going abroad don't work. Yeah. It has worked. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, again, it goes back to that old school thing with scouting. Maybe I'm oh, I'm old school. I want to see a domestic manager in who knows league and everything. And that's we know Ishmael's worked. I'm not saying he ain't worked, but that's just that's just me. I think maybe it's time now, especially we've had three in, have we? Or four if you count Maurice. You know, let's see what let's see what a domestic one can do. Do you know what I mean? Let's see, let's see because, mm. you know what I mean. The the the, def, the more committed as well. I, I I think so anyway. I suppose you could say there's no loyalty in football left, but I'd like to think that maybe there might be a, no, a, li- a little bit more, a little bit more. Because like I said, we've I've not even we've not even see I've not even seen the bloke Ishmael. I've not seen him on touchline, so he's come and gone for me. That's all I yeah, can yeah. say about him. 
Pandemic oh. manager, weren't he? Yeah. So lockdown uh, manager. manager. Yeah. Lockdown boss. Uh, right, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you both on. I apologise, Craig, if I did jump down your throat. I didn't intend to. I would just, I would just. It's because uh, we're passionate, Luke. Yeah, that's passionate, all we care about. Passionate. Luke. It's a good debate. You know care about, Luke. Do you know what difficulty is? Is what? do you know? Remember that first ever message I sent you when before I started coming yeah. on here. I, I said I was. I don't like people singing off at same machine. Yeah, yeah. You're correct. I like I like to look at things as not just my personal feelings, mm. but I like to put me, me myself in other people's shoes. Yeah. So, some of the stuff I say, people aren't going to agree with, mm. but I'm trying to look at it from all different perspectives. Yeah. And like I said, it's it's just it's it's trying to say it without getting people jumping down your neck. You're yeah. like, yeah, I don't know where you're coming from, but try and think of it from this point of view. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. You're this person or whatever. <laughs> So, like I said, that's why I'm so divisive. Some people love being comments. Some people fucking hate me. But, <laughs> like I said, I'm just, I am just I just try and look at it from outside in, yeah. not as... Yeah, I, I'm I, don't not, I don't think... Not as passionate as you are, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I am I, as passionate as a fan, but when it comes to debates and stuff, I... Yeah. Yeah. Try, yeah, I know what you mean. You tried to hold, hold back a bit, but we, we were going full throttle. We're going straight into yeah, fifth yeah. gear, fifth, right into fifth gear, us. <laughs> no yeah, no messing yeah. about. Uh, all right, then, guys. Well, thank you for watching. It's been a really good debate. We've got us points across. And um, nice to have Luke and Craig back on doing the videos as well. And hopefully, we'll be back. Uh, well, we will be back uh, to cover all uh, next season. It's going to be another fun one. I, I, I hope. Listen, I hope we can go to the games, mate. That, I, yeah, you know, I'm fed up of watching we need... Tom fucking. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we've got to be back at football now. It's as simple as that. So uh, Cardiff yeah. away first game. So looking forward to that. And uh, Very yeah, fucking tanked up, mate. I'm telling you that. I, I might, I might only take two cans. That'll be enough. I've hardly supped so lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on my, I'll, I'll be on my backside. Um, so uh, yeah, guys, get in the comments, obviously, and let us know. Obviously, we're uh, trying to, we're trying to be positive about it, but it is hard again, you know, to lose a manager after not even been here a year. Obviously, expected with West Brom, my demands there. Um, and he's going to have to hit ground running because if he don't, you know, he, he'll be out of a job fairly quick. Um, and, and you know, any West Brom fans get in touch and let us know what you think on, on his appointment um, and, and and on the four-year contract because that's a very brave, uh, brave that of them to do that. Um, so, At least uh, you'll be doing that. Well, well, yeah, and no release clause. Um, it, so, yeah. anyway, guys, thank you for joining us as ever and we will see you all very, very soon. Take care, you Reds.